Hey, so what we're doing, we're, this is a salvage pipe place. He's got all kinds of good little material to pick through and stuff. And uh, he's even got some 10 inch pipe there, it looks like. I like to come out here and go what's called call shopping. That's kind of what we're doing here, real quick. I'm gonna pick through this pile of material, Joe and I are, and try not to buy anything we don't need, <laughs> and uh, go from there. So here we go. Of course, I forget my gloves when I come out, so I gotta use barbecue gloves. That's why it's always good to have bar barbecue guy around because he's always got something in his truck, whatever. But. Yeah, so this is real popular material, two by four. This is like 11 gauge. It's a little thicker than 11 gauge. But what you're looking for is like, see this weld seam right here? This is where that tubing was welded together. And see, it's real good. This this is a good piece, but down here towards the end, in the middle, it's got a, a spot right here where it got crushed in. So what you'd have to do is cut this section out or just weld it if it's not something structural. But if it's structural, You'll have to make sure this chunk won't it won't mess up what you're uh, building, you know. Like this has got a real bad bend in it. So anyway, when you're when you're a guy like me, you'll pick through and find the stuff that you want. And a lot of times it's going to be on the back side because everybody comes and gets the easy stuff first. So this over here is the heavier material here. Then we're going to make the sled for uh, Ken Williams trailer out of this material. And so see this one here's got a, uh, a seam in it. That's not gonna hurt us on a sled for a smoker. We can probably cut that out of there anyway. So I'm probably gonna get two sticks of this right here. This is about 11 gauge. Um, so here's one. There's some heavier stuff here like seven gauge. That's too heavy for what we're doing. Now, the other thing you gotta keep in mind this material is like 30 or 40 feet, something like that. You want to make sure you got a trailer long enough to haul it. Um, and then check with whatever your codes are and stuff for highway, like for transporting this stuff. If it's too far out past your trailer, what's the restrictions on that, stuff like that. Um, if, I, if I act real nice, um, sometimes Robert isn't too busy and he'll cut this down. Robert's the guy that runs the yard here. Sometimes he won't be too busy and he'll cut this down for me. And... Uh, so, but sometimes he's not really too excited about it. So we'll just see how he feels. The way that I, I load material on a trailer and stuff like that, um, that's some valuable info. So if you look, when I roll my strap up, I've got the hook out. That way when I fling this at Joe, the strap hits him and not the hook, right? So the reason I'm on the passenger side of the trailer right now, I'll show you. What I like to do is make it to where I like my ratchet on the driver's side and my hook on the passenger side, right? And so what I'll do is I'll throw this over and get it on the trailer first. Then uh, whenever I get my material, I'm stacking it on top of my strap. I've already got my strap in place. I can pull it over and hook it, pull the other one over, ratchet it down. And now my loop is kind of going over the top, under the material, and then over the top again. So it's not only squeezing the material together when I ratchet it, but it's also pulling down on, on the top of the material, holds it down. Then you don't have to put a bunch of blocks and a whole bunch of crap on there, you know? This is, see here? Boom. Now, if you're a rank amateur, <laughs> you take this whole thing and you wad it up and throw it in the bed of the truck instead of pulling that out first. Uh, That's just my personal opinion. So I don't know who did this, but somebody is a rank amateur. Was it you, Joe? I don't think so. It's been a while since I did that. <laughs> At least with yours. It could have been me. I might have been in a hurry. You never know. Everybody likes their hot dog a different way, I suppose. <laughs> I got to ask you. You've been saying that a lot recently. What does that mean? There was a guy that said that. There was a controversial post on Instagram. And uh, the guys were arguing about something. I don't know where it came from. Aaron was reading it to me one day and he said, listen to this. This is hilarious. This guy said, everybody likes their hot dog a different way. In the argument, <laughs> I just been it's stuck ever since I heard that. Now I'm saying it all the time. Oh, yeah. There, so see, that's why the guy whoever did that, he didn't pull apart because that was hard to turn. It needs to be oiled or something. Seriously. All right. Anyway, now we throw some material on. Let's go, Joe. So one trick that I use whenever I'm hauling tubing like this, 
that uh, is longer than my trailer. I've actually got a smaller trailer than this that I typically use. Um, if, if I have like a whole lot sticking off the end, if you go right up in the middle of the trailer, you can stick this through. You just don't want to get in the way of your hit of if you have a tongue jack or something that's going to, you know, get in the way. You just want to stay away from all that stuff. But if I do like that, I can go to the back and shove this up. Just a few feet. That ain't going to hurt nothing. This, uh, big nice pile of tube right here this this is some heavy wall tube that's perfect for hand handles on cookers um i know i've got a little bit there but it's all rusty and i want to put a nice handle on so i'm gonna grab a stick of this now how are you uh tying this down just the same way it's just gonna squeeze it all together now i need one more thing i need some uprights for the for, from this, these pieces of tube on the bottom up to the cook chamber. And dimensionally, this is two inch by four inch. And I want the four inch side flat. So Aaron and I like to actually go half of this. It just looks good that way. So we're gonna do two by two on here. So I don't need a lot. I probably need like a 20 foot stick and that's it. So time to go shopping again. Let's see, that's got, that's got our two by four for the sled, the bottom. It's got our two inch piece there for the, uh, for the uprights. And we got us a good handlebar here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll work. So see, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. Bam. And Joe's gonna grab that in and flip it towards me. Yep. There, so. Now the way I got this, it's squeezing tight all of this material together and it's pulling down at a very small angle. So this isn't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Then all we gotta do is hope that Robert's having a great day <laughs> and uh, hope that his budget today for this material or his price for this material today fits the budget that I told my wife. This is smoker builder. That almost never happens. Now if you squeeze that down real good, there's no way for this whole thing to go topsy turvy and flip up. It's gonna just roll and touch and then it's bound. And so this piece can't need none of these little pieces could slide out. It's all together, right? There you go. All right, time to go pay the piper. I wonder how Aaron and Danny are doing. I, uh, even though I'm in this yard, I'm buckling up because you never can't tell when a random piece of equipment's going to come rolling through here and side goggle everything. Watch out, hand. There's a lot of gantry making I beam material there, too. Is he gonna get in my tire? No, nope. he good. Okay, time to pay the man. All right. Hey, so uh, paid the piper just now. Overall, uh, seems like a pretty good old deal here. So here's what we wound up with. Uh, the two by two was a heavier wall, I guess, 215 a foot, so 43 bucks. The inch and a quarter piece of tube was a buck thirty-five a foot, and then uh, the two by four was three dollars and thirty-three cents a foot. So if we was to check all of those prices with, uh, so a whole net sum total of uh, two hundred thirty-five dollars and twenty-four cents. That wasn't bad. The wife, uh, while I'm within budget, she kept asking me, "Is it going to be three hundred dollars or less? Is it going to be three hundred dollars or less?" And so. I said, of course, I said yes. Had no idea <laughs> if it really was gonna or not, but uh, hey, we did a good job today. It is less than $300. <laughs> and I got more material than I told her. I actually said, actually what I told her was it would be 
for the two pieces of tubing, it would be less than $200 and I am on target. I'm a matter of fact, I'm well under target. Those two sticks of uh, rectangle tube were $159.84 and she said 200, I told her 200 bucks. So, but I didn't tell her I was getting all the other jobs. So that's kind of how it went. But anyway, now we're on our way back to the shop check in on Aaron and uh, Danny. They've been working on collector box while we've been gone. Um, hopefully by tomorrow night, we'll have the fire box mounted. We'll have the collector box on and um, we'll have a sled built. Rock on. Anyway, stay tuned.